Jeremiah. It's amazing how one day someone can walk into your life and suddenly you can't remember how you lived without them. You came into my life over a decade ago. Our love story started 12 years and eight months ago. It's been 4,627 days to be exact. I still have that restaurant receipt to prove it. I'm so grateful for our random encounter and how lucky I am that you decided to text a random stranger. From the moment I met you, I was drawn by your handsome smile and your goofy personality. But ultimately, it was your beautiful soul that captured my heart. The truth is, our journey has unfolded gradually, yet we've built a deep bond that can only be created with time the strongest kind of bond that can't be broken. We've been through so much together, the ups, the downs of life, the joy and sorrow. We've shared many laughs and tears. Through it all, you've stayed by each other, choosing each other again and again, every day. And that's what makes our love story so special. You are my rock. You are my best friend. You are my favorite travel buddy. Whether it's silly joke or words of wisdom or just a well-timed hug, you're always there to lift me up when I need it most. You have a way of making me see the good in all things, even when life can be tough. I love your compassionate heart and how patient you are. You're always quick to apologize and even quicker to forget. Thank you for loving me the way you love me, even in those moments that I'm not so lovable. Jeremiah, you are my everything. Today, before our family and friends, I promise to grow old with you. Hold your hand through every adventure life throws our way. I promise to cheer you on and encourage you to follow your dreams. I promise to support you through the thick and thin and be there to lift you up when you need it most. Here's to a lifetime of laughter, love, and happiness together. I love you. What do you have to say to the bride and the groom? Hey, congratulations. This is an amazing day. I'm so happy to be able to spend it with you. Me and Jenny have been together for 18 years, and we know it's a headache, but I know you two for a long time, yes. and I know you will make the best of it. What would you like to say to the bride and the groom? Uh, congrats, you. congrats on getting married. I just want to tell you guys that I absolutely love you, and I am so happy for you both, and you absolutely deserve each other. We just want to say we're so happy that you guys are married and we just cannot wait for your new chapter. Hopefully you guys move to Orlando to be next to us. We'll see. Don't hold grudges, right? Mm -hmm. You can fight short and sweet, let it go and move on. I felt like when we first met, we were rivals, but <laughs> you're, you're my boy, bro. I'm so happy for you and uh, about damn time. First of all, thank you. I know I look good. Secondly, <laughs> Jen and Jerry, I want to follow up with Angela said and said finally. Yeah. And number two, I don't really have any wedding advice. I think you guys are doing just fine. You guys are been together for so long. But if you ever need someone to watch Stella, know that I'm your girl. I got you. Yes. You owed us this party, and uh, it's been years. Congrats, man. Finally. <laughs> I know that's right. I love you guys so 13 much. Thirteen years. Congratulations. Thirteen years. We're so happy and you guys make such a perfect couple and you guys made us cry with your vow, especially you, Jerry, saying that she, um, Jennifer was the author of your love story. So special. To love, light, happiness, and beautiful memories. Mwah. And we love you so much. Love you so much. We know you're going to be together forever, guys. And I want to tell you guys that I love you very much. Can't yes. wait to 
to uh, you know see what's coming from here on now. Congratulations. My, my dear Jennifer, too much of what I say is masked in, with, with humor and sarcasm. These are my hiding places. However, today the words in these vows have no concealments. This all began with a chance we both felt drawn to, and here we stand 13 years later by choice. We've worked at this, investing in each other, and building, piece by piece, a trust of the strongest kind. In the end, we've crafted a relationship where both people desperately want the same things, and you deserve much of the credit. You're the lead author in our story. I've done my best to follow, listen, and learn from a person whose giving and caring nature has no boundaries or conditions. Your love for family and emphasis on its importance has taught me that loving others feels better than loving yourself. You've eased my worries, you've given me drive, purpose, and occasionally shit, but even that holds value. Your selflessness and ambition has taken us to higher heights. Even without the entire spectacle of today, you would still be the only thing I've ever needed you to be, my beautiful, sweet Jennifer. What more could I ask for? You've given more than what's deserved. I promise to make the most of the time we've been given. There won't always be highs like today, but I vow to experience the full range of life's joys and challenges by your side. I do wish so deeply that this day could have come sooner for us, but today is the day we lock away the missteps and regrets. If we wonder for too long about what might have been, we may completely miss what is. What is. Worrying is a misuse of our, the incredible loving energy that flows between us. Disagreements, mistakes, we will wash them away with simple smiles, a hug, and our shared sense of humor. Instead of imagining the worst, we will imagine the best. That is who we are. So what more is there to say? Let's bask in this moment and continue doing the things that brought us here together.